of each planet about the sun is an ellipse, where sun is at one of its focus in the ellipse. So, let us understand this one in this way. Suppose, a planet is revolving around the sun from the point A, B, C and D and the sun can be in either of the focus, focus on the right hand side or the focus on, on the left hand side of the ellipse. This is how the first law that is law of orbit goes according to Kepler. An extensive property is a property whose value depends on the quantity or size of matter. Example, you have mass, volume, internal energy, etc. Intensive property is a property whose value does not depend upon the mass or quantity or temperature, density, pressure, etc. Whereas, a molar property Xm is the value of an extensive property X of the system one mole of a substance. If n is the amount of matter, then Xm becomes X by n which is independent of the amount of matter. Now, hydrides are classified into three categories. The first one is your ionic or it is called as saline or it is called as salt like hydrides. Second one is your covalent or your molecular hydrides. And the last one that is the third one is metallic or non stoichiometric hydrides. A unit of K will be different for different reactions having different orders. Like for a zero order reaction, the order will be zero and thus and so the unit of K will be mole per liter per second. What about a first order reaction? The order is 1 and thus the unit of K will be per second. What about a second order reaction? The order is 2 and thus the unit of K will be per mole per liter per second. So, this is all about all the SI units of K for different order of reaction. Area of a triangle whose vertices are x1 y1, x2 y2 and x3 y3 and it is given by delta equal to half modulus. Why modulus? Because the area is always positive. So, we use the modulus symbol. So, modulus of x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2. So, this gives you the area of a triangle. Theorem number 1 states that the number of permutations of n different objects taken r at a time where r is greater than 0 and less than or equal to n and the objects do not repeat is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 extending up to n minus r plus 1. Here the product n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 extending up to n minus r plus 1 is denoted by n p r. You can see the structure of this nitrogenous basis. What you can see? These are all heterocyclic rings, right? So, in the first one that is the structure which shows the adenine. Adenine is a purine and it has 9 Carbon. So, you can see the structure of this purine and the next is pyrimidine. Example, we have taken guanine. They are going to have 6 carbon atoms in their heterocyclic rings. Mm -hmm.